Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Karina. Today's video is going to be a haul. If you like that type of content, then definitely think about subscribing to my channel because it is free 99 and we have tons of fun. And if you're returning, then welcome back. We're gonna do a haul for today. I went to Walmart, I just wanted to buy a few things, go check to see if there was any new makeup. I didn't find too much new makeup but i just found some things that really caught my eye so it's a little bit of like personal care a little bit of home stuff and of course the makeup so you already know get cozy get comfy grab your drink grab your cafe and let's go ahead and start with today's walmart haul okay so we're just going to start with our first little bolsita here i love walmart definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you are a walmart or target girl i'm definitely more of a walmart girl i love targets but i i don't know i tend to lean more towards walmart so this is my little receipts and let's see what we got so first things first, I bought these Milani blending sponges. These are the perfect duo. These say that they're new, but I know that they're not new new. I've seen them around for a few months and I've been eyeing them for a long time and I never bought them. And the fact that they are a black sponge, hello. I love black, it's one of my favorite colors. It comes with two and I think this one was $9.99, 9 dollars if I'm correct. So not bad for two sponges. I don't know how good they're going to be. I am not a stiff sponge person. I like them to be a little more airy, a little more bouncy. So if you've tried this one, definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you like it or not so next up are some nails i've been really into press on nails ever since my little nail file machine broke i haven't been able to do my um press on nails like the actual press on gel nails so i've just been sticking with these which i like them and then i don't but anyways i ended up buying a new pair because i ran out of all my press on nails and salon perfect has a lot of really cute styles they have a lot of shapes they have a lot of links they have a lot of just different colors so i decided to go with these these are the modern french nail sets and these are a modern take on the french manicure and that is what they look like it's like a really pretty ombre i really like the shape it's a little bit different it's supposed to be like a coffin shape the length is a little bit long but these are actually not too too long which is perfect for me and they have a beautiful glossy finish these are also pretty affordable these are five dollars and 94 cents so not too bad and i think it comes with 24 yeah 24 nails and i have pretty wide nail beds and they still suit me oh my gosh i applied too much blush on my nose um and they still fit me so i really like that i'm always looking at perfusion because honestly their palettes for the most part are really good and this one really caught my eye it is the mauve's palettes i don't know if it's new or i just haven't seen it oh i have to take off the tape and i don't have the fingernails to take off the tape but this is the mauve's palette by profusion this is a super affordable brand that is mainly sold at walmart and i think this one was like five dollars or something like that it's super affordable which is why i really like this brand yeah it was for five dollars this is probably one of the best setting sprays besides like the elf 16 hour fine mist setting spray this one just goes hand in hand but hello this is like a jumbo size and i just knew i had to get my hands on it even though i have tons of other setting sprays but you can never go wrong with this one this one retails for $12.97 it is not bad for this size it is so big and it truly does extend the wear of your makeup so definitely a must if you're wanting a good setting spray or invest into something like this this will seriously last you so long i also have to grab these lashes these are my absolute favorite lashes when i'm wearing no makeup or just a very natural look kind of like what i have going on right now these are the pre-permed push-up tight curl dramatic lift lashes by the brand salon perfect these are the 672 these are so pretty if you like the look of lashes like if you have um lash extensions these are the ones that you want to go for they look so pretty anytime i'm wearing these i always get asked what lashes i'm wearing they look so natural and they just they're so curly oh they're just so perfect for every day and they really look well with eyeshadow as well so they're versatile in my eyes and they're just beautiful and i think these retail for about eight dollars these retail for six dollars and 94 cents and you get 
two lashes and you can reuse them over and over again which is why I love Sell on Perfect. Something new that I wanted to try for my brows is from NYX the Lift and Snatch. I've seen this all over TikTok and I finally got my hands on it. I got the shade Espresso. I'm not even gonna lie. I tried it today and I am already obsessed. The NYX Lift and Snatch. Oh my gosh this has quickly replaced my brow pen. I love this. It is so thin. It is pigmented but it doesn't deliver too much color. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have it on my brows. It's been a rough day today. Don't want to talk about it. I've been, I've been through so much today. And my brows are still on, which says a lot. But yeah, definitely a must if you like this like bushy brow trend. I really like this. I also picked up a blush palette from Milani. This is their Rose Powder Blush. And this is the shade. I don't think it has a name. No, it is not. Trio palettes. Oh, Floral Fantasy. And I seriously cannot open anything because my nails are so weak. And this is what it looks like. Honestly, I don't know if this will show up much on my skin because it does seem to be pretty light. I think they have two different uh, palettes, light to medium and then medium to dark. But you know me, I love a good warm peachy toned blush so these seem to be a little bit more of a silky finish but maybe if I mix them all three I can get them to work those are a little bit of a swatch right there but yeah I thought this was really pretty and I've been wanting it for a long time so I decided to buy it I'm pretty sure this is the last like makeup item that I got but this is the LA Colors super dense dome shaped brush this is from their pro series LA Colors is super affordable this was literally like three dollars and 47 cents and this is another item that I've been eyeing for a long time and I was just like eh, I don't need it but I've been wanting to change up my Ooh, my brushes. Oh my gosh, this is so big. It is jumbo. This one is perfect for just quickly setting the entire skin if you want to do a quick little bronze. I'm going to use it to set the skin because I really like how a brush sets it. If I just want a quick little set, just tap it all over. But either way, if you just want to use it for bronzing, that would be super nice, especially me because I have a large forehead, so it would really work out for me. So that is it as far as makeup. I'm quickly going to show you guys some home decor things that I got. I've been wanting a new fragrance warmer, so I got this one. It is the Rib glass it is so pretty by the brand better homes and garden this is my favorite brand from walmart because i feel like the quality is a little bit better than uh, like the actual walmart I, I know this is a walmart brand but it's a little bit better than like their brand you know and it is so so cute look at that and i'm going to put this in my kitchen because i am obsessed with scents and i love my home smelling delicious and i just thought this one's so beautiful i think this one was about 17 dollars, super affordable and of course i had to buy some um, little wax, wax warmers. So I got my hands on three. I got white Tahitian woods, which is this one right here. This one, you guys, if you go in stores, please smell it. Let me know if you love it because, oh my goodness, this smells so fresh and like citrusy. It has bergamot waters, white pineapple, sea salt, coconut, birch leaves, lavender, sandalwood, teak, and cedarwood scent notes. It smells so fresh. It's not overpowering. I don't really like sweet scents in my house. I like more like a fresh citrusy scents. And then this one smells so good. This one is the Line Dried linen it smells like linen linen cotton grass citrus and white floors scent notes which is this one right here this literally smells like i just did a fresh load of laundry which honestly i hate doing laundry it's probably like my least favorite short short chore it smells so delicious and it's again very soft not overpowering at all and then the last one that i got is the caribbean sea and breeze and this one also smells so delicious as you can see there's a theme here with like fresh fruity pineapple florally oh my goodness this one smells so delicious it is ocean spray water pineapple honeydew orange coconut water sea salted orchid Muggets, Mugets, Aquatic Moss, Cedarwood, and White Woods scent notes. Please smell any of these and let me know what is your favorite one. What is your favorite scent from like Walmart? Because I really like to buy a bunch and just stack them up. Okay, so that is everything as far as like home decor that I got. I did 
I've been wanting to get this pendant and I've been eyeing it for a long time. I've been really wanting a cross necklace and I just haven't found one. I know that Jaclyn Hill released some of her jewelry but I think it's been sold out and honestly I haven't checked to see if it's available. And I saw this one and I just thought it was so pretty. It is supposedly cubic zirconia which I don't know that I really believe that. Like I, I mean I still don't shower with these or get them wet but this one was $14.94 and it's from like their more better jewelry if you say that if you can call it that it is so stunning and it's just oh my gosh it's absolutely perfect that is what it looks like i am so excited to wear it and i've been really into silver lately so when i saw it i was like i need to get it i also ended up getting some little rollers the self grip ones since i cut my hair a little bit shorter i've been a little more into like styling it and just giving it a little bit more volume some of you have been asking me what i've been doing to my hair i haven't done anything to my hair i really think just having my hair so long was really weighing my hair down and i didn't have any volume so i have a blow dryer and i bought these so i can give my bangs a little bit of volume and so i also ended up getting a little like a uh, hairbrush for volumizing my hair we'll see how that goes i'm really not an expert when it comes to hair but i'm trying to learn so let me know if you have any tips last but not least i got a big old bag of these pure epsom salts this is the melatonin sleep soak with essential oil blend i've never had any like epsom salts or anything like that i need to use this on one of those nights where i just can't sleep i suffer from insomnia sometimes it like comes and goes and right now thank god i've been okay but there's some nights where i just my muscles ache my back aches my neck aches and this one is also um, supposed to help with aches and soreness from muscle pain so i am really excited to try this i think it smells good and looks like it smells good it has chamomile and lavender so again if you guys have any recommendations please let me know because i am very looking forward to pampering myself and let me know if you guys want to see like a pampering routine i would be so down to film that so that is it you guys for my walmart haul that is everything that i wanted to share with you i know it wasn't a huge haul i want to try and incorporate these more i tend to go shopping a lot because hello that's what i do for my channel i buy things to review them but i just forget to haul them for you guys and i have tons of ideas for upcoming like home decor i'm really thinking of just changing up my living room so if you guys want to see that so if you guys want to follow along come with me definitely let me know in the comment section down below so thank you all so much for being here i love you all and until next time i will see you all in my next video bye